I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing. Hey guys, I'm Bulma, and joining me is my skull kid, Pip. Bitch, don't make fun of me. I'll throw a moon on you in three days. <gasps> Le gasp. <laughs> Le gasp. <laughs> awesome. And we are back, it's been a while, with Isaac. Oh, look at that, the lost. That was so hard to do. Oh, That's yeah. That's so hard to do, get all those things, get all those things on red. Oh my god. I but know guys, you left it on the screen to show up. You know I did. <laughs> you know I did. I know. I worked hard for that. <laughs> but uh, we're back with Isaac today with a new character. I, uh, I check my updates on my games and stuff, see if anything pops up. And uh, I guess Isaac <clears throat> Rebirth, yeah. the uh, expansion, got an update where they added a new character and added a bunch of enemies and... Mm. Items and stuff like a huge update for free. I love Isaac, so give me all them updates. Give yeah. me new monsters, new new forms of poop monsters, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't even care. And it was faux free, the best kind of update. Mm. Um, Dark Souls. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm still. So, so I know, Balma's salty. It's all right. I'm just, yeah, I I'm didn't just even, moving along. I'm gonna record some Dark Souls too. <laughs> I didn't even know about this. Pip told me about it. I was like, "What new character?" I told Bola, "What new character?" Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Pip unlocked it. So yeah, so we're going to do a video on how to unlock the character. A very short video, like a three-minute, two-minute, however long, you know, with captions and just showing quickly how to yeah. do it. But if you guys at home are watching this right now and you're like, oh, what? I want to unlock the character. It's actually pretty easy. You uh, have to beat... He says. Yeah, it took me a while. Um, you have to beat the first boss in under a minute. I recommend using Azazel with the laser beam. I love Azazel. And he's awesome. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's super good. You have to beat the first boss in under a minute. So like you beat the boss, and uh, then you can go back and clear the rooms or what have you. You will generally get a bomb on the first stage. You have to bomb the starting room. You'll see like a shadow of a shovel on the floor of the starting room. Mm -hmm. Drop a bomb in there and a shovel piece will drop down. Mm -hmm. When you pick it up, um, mom's foot will start dropping down. <laughs> randomly and, and trying to squish you. Oh, I hate the foot. So you will have to be continual, continuously moving throughout the uh, rest of the game, rest of the encounter here. Oh, I was like, does it, it goes on for the whole game or just her foot? Yes, yes. It does? Yes, the foot will just keep dropping down and trying to stomp on you. Wow. Until you are done with the challenge. So wow. Keep, keep in mind, it takes... Okay, I'm glad I asked. Yeah, it takes <laughs> some doing here. I'm kind of dumb. I forgot that I could just click into the little ghost form here and fly across the rocks. <laughs> oh boy. Oops. Oops. Ba that pip. Yeah, new character, you know. <laughs> but um, once you have the yeah, once you have the first shovel piece, your foot will start trying to drop on you all the time. You just have to avoid it. Uh, avoid the footsies. Get beat uh, the regular mom's room uh, normally. And once you do that, you will be faced with the boss rush room. And you will automatically get the the negative. You'll have to fight the boss rush room. When you beat the boss rush room with mom's foot dropping down and trying to stomp you, incredibly hard. It was for me anyway. <laughs> mom's foot, no joke. Yeah. I mean, it does have the benefit of squishing enemies that are nearby you, yeah. so it can it can be beneficial. I know, I like it when you can have it as an item and you just <laughs> on monsters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, once you beat the boss rush, the other half of the shovel will drop, and you'll be able to pick it up and just have essentially like a, a shovel that digs down through to skip levels. Uh-huh. Um... Then you have to beat the chest, or once you get to the chest room, like once you beat Satan and get to the chest room, you will have to find one of the rooms will have like a patch of dirt on it, and you have to stand right in the middle of it. It's kind of 
twitchy about it. Yeah. And uh, use the shovel and you will unlock the character. Jeez. Mm-hmm. I thought that the uh, the patch of dirt was in the, the dark place or whatever before the chest. Oh, it's in the dark room, whatever, whatever. Is it it's in the chest the, or is it in the dark room? The dark room. Okay, because you, you said it was in the when chest. When you're doing the run, when you beat mom, you will automatically get the negative. You will not get a chance to go towards Isaac and fuck it up for the yourself. Cathedral. Yeah, you won't, it won't give you a chance to fuck it up for yourself. That's cool. <laughs> Huge asterisk here, guys. Are you ready? When you get to the boss room, the boss rush, if one of the items that you pick up in the boss rush is like an active item, keep the other part of the shovel with you the whole time. Or when you beat the boss rush, it won't give you the other part of the shovel. Oh. Uh-huh. I Ugh. did that. I did that and I goosed myself. Dang. And it didn't give me the other half of the shovel. And I was like, oh no, so I had to do it all again. Oh, that sucks. And it did suck. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I hate when I'm having, like, I'm doing everything good and then, ah, I messed up my run. <laughs> yeah. I I'm not or sure. Or I just die. I'm not sure if you can, like, pick up the shovel at the last two bosses of the boss rush and they'll drop the last piece or if you have to be holding it the whole time or, or what. If you're willing to experiment with yeah. it, but... But keep that in mind, I didn't have the boss, the, the first half equipped, so I didn't have to deal with mom's foot trying to squish me during the boss rush. Uh, and when I beat it, it didn't give me the other half. So, man. And I was trying to look this up, how to like, how to do it and stuff. I had to go to like a, a Reddit page, a Reddit thread to find the information. We didn't even have it on the wiki yet. Man. So, yeah. Go get them, guys. Fresh stuff. Uh, what was the deal with the hearts? It was like you can take three hits with the okay. hearts and then they go away. Yeah, if you guys have been watching here, you'll have seen, uh, you have like a, your soul hearts and stuff go towards your, uh, other like your spirit form it's essentially like a little lost chained to you okay and, and it's kind of wonky you'll see me use it here momentarily but like the chain is always kind of pulling you towards the center uh -huh. towards the skull kid and so it kind of throws your aim off a bit okay but uh it normally it just shoots normally and you and you have a little lost character that can fly and it uses soul uses your soul hearts Ooh. The Skull Kid has um, these new Skull Hearts. They take damage like normal hearts, and once they're depleted, they break, and you lose them forever. So, like for instance, normally you take uh, get hit twice and you lose a heart. This one you get hit twice, and then if you get hit the third time, the heart piece will break. Okay. So it's like a bigger heart but the heart doesn't last forever. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, now this is a fun run, guys. This is a fun run. I'm glad I got this on, on uh, recording. We get like eight of these one makes you small Spoiler pills. alert. Spoiler alert. We get like eight of these things. By the end of this, we're super tiny. I can't even see myself. It's pretty great. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. It was honestly making the, the game harder for me because I couldn't see where I was half the time. <laughs> but I just couldn't not take them after I was already committed to being, yeah. you know, Alice, Alice on a bender of the mushrooms. Yeah, right? <laughs> just chomping away. Alice, stop! <laughs> Serpent! Serpent! <laughs> Well, guys, we tried to not be unsocial hermits today, and oh. it backfired. Oh, yeah, that was... Hardcore. Um, we were going to go to the beach for a birthday party, and uh, the traffic, guys, well, it was well, packed. Well, first of all, I was dumb, and I didn't take into account that uh, it's summer. We're, yeah. we're here in Florida. 
So all the tourists want to come down here to go to the beach. Yeah. Go away. The beaches suck here. Go to Key West. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we don't even have a nice beach right over here. Right? <laughs> it's not even the nice one. It's not even the nice beach. Jeez. Yeah, but um. So we so we go down to the beach and it's. It took way longer than it usually does. Oh. It was just bumper to bumper and we get on the bridge and moving the, the ants are looking at us like bro you're so slow yeah it was tough <laughs> it was tough but, we, but we, we finally get there yeah and it's really hot <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't have ac in my truck because you know it's I, so I'm, hot. I'm poor what do you want from me okay <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want what do you want windows and breeze do it enough uh, i suppose i'm living in florida it doesn't not feel the, like not it in the sometimes. traffic though yeah, but, but we got there, and, and we were, it's already super hot, and there's no parking anywhere. 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 Well, that's a, that's a lie. There's plenty, oh. of, uh, plenty of parking with a big sign out, out you know, right next to it that says, Towing. Yeah. We'll be towed. Always nice to see. I know. It's like so many empty spots. Oh, and yeah. it's a Sunday. Come on. Oh, yeah. Kind of gross. Come on. Kind of gross. Finally, oh well, not only okay. So we went and also we had to stop and get gas. Oh. And oh. we pulled away without getting the gas, but uh, Pip paid for it. Yeah, paid. And we got, just like got, got, kind bucks, of got like twenty bucks. Got like twenty bucks in gas and just drove away. And we're like, oh god! So we had to come back really fast. And there's a guy in the spot where we were just at. Yep. Thank goodness he was nice enough to give us the spot and like pulled out of it and you know we got the gas. It was you know yeah, he was, still good. Yeah, he was nice. He understood. <laughs> I was like, hey man, I'm sorry, I just paid for gas and drove away. Ugh. He was like, oh no problem, man. Go ahead. Yeah, so we get gas and then we finally find a spot, guys. Finally, and it's <laughs> right next to the beach. Oh like, yeah, it's perfect beach is right there sand it's, is just a couple feet away it was perfect and i had to convince myself like all right all right i still want to do this yeah we were both kind of done at that point after <laughs> driving around looking for a parking spot for like an hour yeah but then i was like all right it's fine we're here we got a parking spot we're Let's gonna go it. we're gonna go i we put go. the money in <laughs> the parking meter's broken just the, the one that we were in the, the parking meter's fucking broken <laughs> oh <laughs> And now, and now, guys, now, guys, I know some people, maybe some, maybe one of you guys listening right now going, fuck that, I'd have, I'd have stayed anyway. Right? Uh, right? Well, I've had my car towed before. It sucks. I, Talking about, give me 600 freaking dollars or you're not going to get your car back. And after a while, we're just going to keep it. How about that? Nice, uh, nice, nice laws. Um... I wasn't feeling like the risk taker, though. Hell no. Uh, Hell no. I'm not going to risk $600 because I'm feeling like, ah, oh, you can't do that to me. <laughs> no, I know you can. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So we just went home. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't about it after that. We're like, eh, we'll go home, we'll chill. I made sandwiches, and uh, it's like, let's get a video done, and then we're going to watch Chucky with Lola. She really wanted to watch it. She's never seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I it's, remember. It's summer break. I figure she can handle a horror movie. I remember watching Chucky as a kid. And it scared the crap out of me. Listen, I remember when I was younger, my mom tried to, you know, shelter me. You know, oh, you're not allowed to see anything bad. I'm not allowed to see anything that may damage you psychologically. Oh, perish the thought. <laughs> now watch the daily news where we see, you know, yeah. oh my god, I'm not even going to get into it because I'm, I'll get political so fast on you guys, it'll make your head spin, but just the stuff you see on the news, that that's acceptable, and yet people harp on you guys and on me and us about violence in video games, yeah. I've never seen someone set on freaking fire in a video game. Well, I've taken that back. I have, but it didn't quite make me feel as horrified yeah. as when I saw it on the news. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. So you know, I, I take it. I take more of the mindset of, I'm going to show you, and, and and you can make your own decisions, and you, you can 
C come on, guys. It's it's a movie about a freaking possessed doll. Yeah. You know. I grew out. I yeah. Realized uh, very I mean, quickly. Okay, that's not real. But my little sister was still scared of it, and I think it might have been like, I feel like it might have been a Spencer's thing or something. Somewhere they were selling, like, it looked like you know, looked like Chucky from the movie. It's a doll you could buy, and uh. I wanted to get one so bad so we could just like place it in our window in our bedroom or something so I could scare her. I mean, my, I mean, my general standard for things like that is I wouldn't necessarily let Bolo watch like scream, okay? Because that's just a movie about a psychopath running around killing people. That actually happens sometimes. Yeah. You, you know? That's really scary, and, and and not necessarily something I want to expose her to at a super young age. You know, showing her the, the visceral side of it and stuff. Nice. Whereas, um, I don't see the harm in showing her uh, a, a murderous little doll that she can essentially go, well, that was scary, but then she also understands that being scared, some people like to be scared. Yeah. That's why there are haunted houses and horror movies and etc. etc. You know. Yeah. It's not like she plays with dolls, anyways. Well, I mean, even if she did, I would uh, put a, put an end to that real quick. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All the dolls must go in the trash and now light the trash on fire. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she'll be like the opposite and be like, "Man, I like being scared about like I like being scared like this." So now I'm gonna, you know, invest in a doll collection. Dude. I actually knew a uh, knew a friend of my brother's who had. It was like, it wasn't like a doll collection, but it was like a memorabilia collection, and some of them were some like creepy dolls from movies and stuff. Ew. I remember they kind of popped out to me like, oh, that's that's some creepy shit to have in your room. I had, <laughs> I had an unintentional creepy doll collection growing up uh, family members my parents they would always buy my sisters and I uh, different porcelain dolls and they'd all be always really fancy really like you know fancy dresses and hats and things and just eerily painted but not know what you know, they weren't like intentionally creepy but they were they just looked old and not good and they'd always be up on um, a little stand in our room and then... Yeah, you want to see some unintentionally creepy stuff? Go look up like old Halloween costumes. Oh, I know, oh. like the 50s. Oh stuff. man, that shit gives me the... That, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I started to get scared of those dolls after a while. We put... We had a friend come over and help us pack all the dolls into a giant... Uh, shoe box and we put it in the middle of our trampoline and we jumped around it in a circle and like mm. we're trying to like do a spell or something on it to get the evil out of it. Oh my. <laughs> I want to really... note the irony of that. <laughs> like you know the the church is always widely viewed witchcraft is a real bad thing you guys are doing spells to banish the evil. <laughs> I know, I was like, we already got it on our trampoline, and we were jumping it. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty good. Childhood. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate these really dark levels. <laughs> you get the curse I, of darkness. I know, I know. It's a bogus thing. I can't see it all. I know. Uh, I remember when I was young, my mom told me that I could be whatever I wanted to be when I grew up, okay? So I told her, being like eight years old, nine years old, I remember this very clearly, I told her, I want to be a shark. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I want to be a shark. I must have been a dumb kid. <laughs> Don't you have a shark on your stomach? Is there a uh, shark Is that? Do you have the shark thing? I have the I have a shark ape shark. Ape shark. I have the ape shark. Dam Hall has a shark ape on his shoulder. I have an ape shark on my stomach. <laughs> his is the uh, his is the body of a gorilla 
with the head of a shark, <laughs> and I have a shark with the head of a gorilla <laughs> breathing fire. <laughs> it doesn't look as cool as it sounds, it's okay. <laughs> It's just a little stick figure. I'm just no, kidding. it's not that bad. I'm kidding. But, uh, it's not a stick figure. <laughs> you know, when you guys don't get tattoos when you're younger. Just throw that out there. <laughs> think think about that before you do it. Also, mind you, tummy tattoos hurt. Yeah. So would, you wanted to be a dinosaur? Yeah. No. I didn't want to be or a dinosaur. I mean a shark. I'm sorry. No, I don't no, know. My mom, a my mom told me I could be anything I wanted to be, so I told her. Very, you know, with much enthusiasm, I want to be a shark. And my mom didn't correct me, okay? So I went to a friend of mine a little later, I still remember this. It was his birthday party and we're swimming in his pool. And I'm telling him, that my mom told me I could be a shark when I grew up. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and this kid's looking at me, and he's like, you know, a year or two older. And he's looking at me like, what are you talking about? You can't be a shark. <laughs> oh, I'm crushed. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Like, totally, I was decimated. <laughs> like, what do you mean I can't be a shark? My mom said I could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's always one of those stories to go back to. Like, man, Mom, why didn't you, why didn't you catch me on that? You, know? <laughs> you should have known but just from the, how much enthusiasm that I had about that. You should have known I was going to go tell a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I got dinosaur from? Those bomb-ass dinosaur toys we saw at Walmart this morning. Yo, with the realistic battle damage. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that was cool. They have these dinosaur toys where, you're like, you, like, there's a little on their sides and different parts of their body. Like, for if it's a different uh, kind of dinosaur, they have a little uh, section of them. With, like, you can pull it up. And it looks all like like bloody no, and no, like no, battled. Like, like, like you pushed it, like you pushed it a little bit, and it like slotted down real fast. Oh yeah, you can do it like that. Toys I are cool. pushed it up. Toys yeah, it was toys cool. Toys are cool nowadays, guys. And they had ones where you could, like, like push on the button, and its head like jerked forward like oh. a chicken and snapped. Yeah, yeah, it like you so could cool. push it slow, and its head would like move forward slowly, and the mouth would open up, and then you pushed it past a certain point, and it would clap shut. Oh, it was so cool. Oh, jerking, yeah. the jerking chicken. Um, I guess oh, don't, 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 don't quote me, the jerking, <laughs> the jerking chicken? <laughs> the jerking chicken dino, it was so cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're making a push for the, uh, push an advertisement for the, uh, da, 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 the new Jurassic, new Jurassic Park movie. Jurassic World. Lame. I, care, I could care less. Uh, I was like, you know, whatever. I, I thought least... the last movie was pretty meh. Personally, I don't know some people really liked it. But I watched it and I wanted to like it. I went and rewatched back. I went and rewatched the original. Still good. Oh man, yeah. I watched Jurassic World. Me? Thanks. Except uh, upon uh, rewatch, uh, Jeff Gold uh, Bloom's performance is uh, kind of uh, bad. Needs birthday jam. <laughs> Needs more birthday jam. So I feel like that's unfair of me to, to like look back and say, you know, I don't, I don't really care for your performance there in this movie, Jeff Goldblum. And, and just based upon the fact that he's done the same performance yeah. over and over and over and over again. God, it worked so much in Thor, though. That's his movie. Yeah, God. That was his movie, man. Yeah, no, I'm going to drop another, another... I know, we just uh, watched it again. Shout out to Thor Ragnarok. Just, so yeah, good. just watched it again. That movie's so good. And yeah, it's on Netflix now. I mean, we are, we bought it, so we have it, but it's on Netflix. If you haven't, for some reason, seen it already. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. Highly recommend it. Woo! It, it's the new standard for Marvel movies. Yeah, I would and, be and disappointed and, if it got anything less. And, and, and here's, the, here's the kicker, guys. Infinity War came out. And just blew past all the all the standards that Thor Ragnarok set up. Set up. <sighs> I'm a Marvel fanboy. It happened. 
<laughs> they, made it, they made it happen. They were like, Pip, I know you don't like to be a fanboy, but like, just look, at all, these, just look at all these great movies we have. Uh, can you really argue with it? No, I can't, Marvel. You got me. You got me. You know what? I didn't even realize. We're a small boy now. Mm hmm. Small boy! Yeah, see how small we are, guys? Look at that. <laughs> Like the little, the little, the little bone club is like t three times the size of me. Is that a bone club in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Both. <laughs> Why can't it be balls both? Balls of steel. I know, I know. For some reason, guys, my audio didn't uh, record for this, so we just have like an overlay of music. Yeah, from but the. Isaac soundtrack. Yeah, from the Isaac soundtrack. Sound I didn't want to put something, whatever I, whatever else I could have put over this. I was like, no, Isaac music is so good. It I've really got to find some Isaac tracks to put over this. No, it really is. Um, Beautiful. Agreed. I was editing this last night and just had the music on, and I was like, man, it's getting lost in that ambience. 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 <laughs> yeah, the audio didn't record, so we just overlaid it. But uh, when you use the pills and stuff, if you haven't played it, a, a guy's voice comes on and says it says whatever the pill is. If it's like perks or one makes you small, one makes you. He it, says it's so one makes you small. <laughs> Balls of steel. Perks. <laughs> you know. Pretty funny. It's good. Yeah, it, it's worth having the volume up when you play the game. I know, I didn't know that that did that for a long time. <laughs> I didn't and either. the first time I heard it, I was like, whoa, what am I hearing right now? It's kind I of did, freaky. I did too. I played this game for a hot minute before I heard it. Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, we made our day better by not going to the beach. By getting some mother freaking dippin' dots! <laughs> dippin' dots! Dippin' dots! Yeah. Got a bunch! Yeah, that's good. I haven't had dippin' dots since I was a kid. I remember when they first came out, and I was like, what is this? No, 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 we were driving, and Bola was like, man, you know the last time I had dippin' dots? Well, Maybe you know, she had some at Bush Gardens the other yeah, last month. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> her class went to Bush Gardens for graduation. You know, for graduating, doing well in her class, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, yeah, she got dipping Dots then, like a month ago. <laughs> the last time, if you don't count the last time, it's but, been a while. But that counts. Yeah, but the last time counts. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I haven't had a, I haven't done a video in a while, you know, since I did one yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't count the video we did yesterday, it's been a while. Um, but guys, didn't do a video. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault. I fell asleep. I I fell asleep. No, don't. Vol like Volma likes to try and take credit, like you know, shift blame away from me. It's all me, guys. Well, we were also trying to get to bed early. Listen, for the listen, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> she should be a politician. <laughs> no. <laughs> but like. Although, vote for Volma would be <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Mm. She's not oh. the politician we need. She's the politician we deserve. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you can just fill in the blanks there. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Perfect politician slogan. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. I did not get enough of those bacon cheese quesadillas, though. Right? Well, no, like I was saying, though, oh you, you, you sidetrack me all the time, dude. <laughs> um, but no, Bola said something about Dippin' Dots, and I was like, oh, man, that sounds amazing. I gotta go get Dippin' Dots. Oh. So, it's like it's so we're driving back, and I got sweat pouring off me, and I'm like, we're stopping in Publix. <laughs> <laughs> I know, at first I was like, I just want to go home, my back hurts from sitting in the car for this long. Not to mention the heat, but you know, I'm just in pain. And <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I don't mind stopping for dipping Dots, though. Freaking dipping Dots, y'all. I mean, I don't, I mean, it's just like, they're just little ice cream balls, right? Yeah. It's like, I don't know why it's like, 
I mean, it's ice cream. <laughs> the balls make it better. Not better, but oh, you heard it. You heard it here, guys. <laughs> you heard it here. Balls make it better. <laughs> um, I am ripping that audio. And I'm just going to play that every single day. <laughs> Our outro for every single day. <laughs> balls make it better. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. Man, this is a great recording. Oh, <laughs> but... Then realize she sometimes spoke <laughs> in a misleading way. Oh shit! I was playing PUBG and I just did the laugh that you guys just heard there, like a genuine, like throaty hard laugh. Throaty. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a, a genuine laugh. And I, I was playing PUBG and some guy was like, "This guy was talking with a voice modifier, right? Uh. So he's ta he's talking like this." It, it, it was so funny, and I, I'm just laughing, and he's talking about the place that we're going to drop. He's like, I heard they have the best taco recipes. <laughs> it, I'm dying, and, and, I, and I'm laughing, and he's like, apparently we have a chicken in the group. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Shout out to you, random guy playing PUBG. Oh, boy. I say that all the time, like every time someone's like, oh, we should drop in this place, and the guy here, they have the best taco recipes. No one ever laughs, no one ever says, like, what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. I, so, so, it's my belief that I just need to get that voice modifier so I can be that guy. <laughs> and I can carry on his guy. mantle. I can carry on his mantle. <laughs> of, of the best taco recipes. Yeah, you just do keep. Yeah, man. No, uh, uh, the, even the game was fun because like people landed with us, and he was like, "Let's get these dirty taco thieves." <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Probably one of the best games I've ever played. <laughs> I remember when you were playing that. You yeah, like, I'm dying. I stop laughing. I was dying. I could not help it. <laughs> this guy was killing me with that voice modifier. <laughs> God, the enemies are so ugly in this game. I know, right? They're like, love me. Love me. Yeah, like, like, yo, Bola can handle this, but she can't handle Chucky. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. These kids are running around throwing poop. Man, you said I don't even need that key. Need what key? I don't know. There are some keys in that. Oh, yeah, no. I, like, I, I don't I, even need them. Well, once you're past uh, mom, like the foot dropping down and stuff, the in the womb and stuff, it doesn't have uh, golden doors anymore or shops. Yeah. So like keys are essentially useless for the most part. You might come across a few more things. How about the chest? The chest room when you go there, there's always the four chests. So you know. Yeah. They're they're not. It's never bad to have more keys, but I already have seven. I'm figuring like, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anything else here. Oh man, guys, I was playing Kingdom Hearts before we did this uh, recording, and I got comfortable and didn't save my game. And it doesn't Oof. have auto save. Oof. I'm going around to all the different worlds, getting uh, collecting the Dalmatian puppies and stuff I missed, and then I get sucked into some random secret boss fight. Yeah, magic carpet deceived or bad. Yeah, I go up into a lot of crit. Another one. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> Look how tiny. Jeez. Um, I drop in a lot of crib though, and the carpet is freaking out. He's just like jumping all over the place, and I'm like, "What's up?" And he's like, "You want to go for a ride?" I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> and then we're in a big boss fight, and it's super hard. And I look it up, and it says, "Oh, you gotta be like level 80." <laughs> to do this, and I'm level 54, maybe. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> and I haven't saved, and I died. And, uh, back at the... And that was board. the last time she ever played Kingdom Hearts. I shut it off, yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to do that again right now. Um. You know, I still gotta go play Horizon Zero Dawn all the way through. And you haven't touched near. I don't have near. Oh, yes you do. I was sorry, Near my home. brain just f freaking short fired on me. I was, I was like, thinking you got Neo. Oh no, we don't fuck, fuck that game. 
And you know, I'm not like totally against it. I'm I've heard of, some trash, but like, it's like. I've heard some bad things, I've heard some good things too, kind of. I'm not about it. Not about it? Unless it was like on the dankest of sales or free on PlayStation Plus or something. Alright, drop. In the future. Drop I'm, us a comment, guys. How do you feel? Did you play Neo? Did you like it? What's I, up? I saw like some beginning like walkthroughs and stuff. I'm like, what's going on? Like Japanese Dark Souls. Like, you're in the Japanese zone. Dark Souls. I want you to think of the irony of that sentence. I know, I know. <laughs> but, um. Uh, I know what you say. It looks like Dark Souls, but instead of a uh, isn't it like, you medieval. Know, like, kind of like ninja. Instead of a medieval paint job, it has a feudal Japan paint samurai, job. Samurai Souls. I just, I don't know, I was not feel I was like. Okay. Oh, you get the master. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to misquote this and sound dumb. Uh, was it called Ninja Gaiden? I believe it was called Ninja Gaiden. Okay, it, that was the real original Dark Souls. Yeah. Like, that game was hardcore to the max. <laughs> like you were a ninja and you had to like uh, pick your equipment loadout and you got to go on these missions and if someone spotted you, you were done. You know what I mean? Like, they just two shot you right out of the game. And, and so you had to be all, like, you know, just creeping around. Ninja start at the back of the head, creep up a wall, gets yeah. the people who are running after you. Are you those know. a brain? I never knew what those were. Little clam uh, brains. I believe Intestines? they're tumors. I'm like, I have no idea. It kind of looks like a brain, but it kind of looks like intestines all rolled up. I, I believe they're tumors. Oh. We're in the womb and stuff. Uh, you can look all this stuff up on the wiki. They have, you know, all yeah. the, the names for everything. It's just, it's been a while since I Blood gazed Blood. upon the binding of Isaac. I know, I know. It's This game is so nice to come back to. It's like an old friend. An old friend. It is. It's a good game, man. And there's updates and stuff, so it's uh, like, friend got a new haircut. I, I couldn't tell you how pleased I was to walk, like, log into Steam and see that they had an update randomly for Binding of Isaac. I was like, what? Awesome. Yes. New character? Uh -huh. What? I'm all about that. Like. Oh, man, I'm super about it. You can see how much of time I've put into this game, you know. I'm trying to get, like, unlock all the characters and get all the stuff and then on the hard modes and and greed mode. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man, I love this it. This game is top notch. I, I just love coming back to it. It, always, it treats me well. I know, we used to play this for hours. Oh, yes. Narrow! Yeah, I've been unlocking like a bunch of new items that have been appearing in the basement, like left and right. Oh. Here's my, my brief moment of going, did I take the negative or the positive? <laughs> I think I took the positive. Here we go. Oh, man, that moment. Yeah. Okay. So that moment of panic after you've taken it where you go, oh shit, was that the right one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it looks like pretty smooth sailing from here. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Characters packing the punches. That uh, Dr. Fetus. Oh. That was a good one. So, well, I will say is is kind of weird when you switch into like the little ghost form. You're probably having a hard time seeing what's ha really happening with my it's character. So tiny. Especially so tiny. if you're on mobile. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're on mobile, wow! I can't even imagine. <laughs> um, but when you're in the ghost form. The Dr. Fetus bomb behaves normally, and you hit it, and then you can move around it, and it'll drop after a minute. When you're in the skeleton form, you have to hold the button forward to like charge it. So otherwise, you just do the you swing the club. Swing at the club. And so when you do it, it starts to randomly tra you know just travel in the direction that you're pushing. And then you, it will indefinitely stay until you let go of the button. Huh. So you kind of have to sling it at people. So, so it's kind of like an ipekek or whatever. Uh, yeah, the epikek. 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 I don't know the the <laughs> green exploding thing. You know where you lob explosives. Yeah. It kind of turns the Doctor Fetus thing into that, 
when you're with, in the skeleton form, but when you're in the ghost form, it behaves normally. Huh. Kind of, kind of weird. Kind of cool little interaction with the new character. God, I can't get over how tiny we are. Like, <laughs> so small. No, I, I couldn't believe how I couldn't believe I got this on camera. I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that this was the winning run. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. No, I mean spoilers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers. We're winning this. Oh yeah. I don't mess around with my eyes that uploads. <laughs> There's no room for failure. To win it. Now the failures are always so disappointing in Isaac. I know, especially if we got this far. Oh yeah, right? Can you, ma can you imagine? Oh, oh, actually, guys, we just died on Isaac here. Yeah. Sorry. That's actually what happened on uh, two other recordings. <laughs> I know it sucks trying to record and get that perfect run and then you're also it's like you don't know so you're gonna record all of it <laughs> yeah Ugh. well I mean I don't want to just record highlights that stinks oh yeah of course but when you want to get a winning run though that's yeah a little difficult a little difficult especially for me I'm not as good at this I got a really amazing run once with the Zazel I think I had the sipes and just all this other stuff I can't even no, I've had some absolutely bonkers runs. Oh, guys, also another little extra fun thing that they've added on with the update. Oh, I don't you can that. do a victory lap now. So if you beat the game and you have some crazy loadout and you're like, I don't want to stop playing just yet. I was yet. about to say, that's where I was like, it was so good of a run that I was sad that I couldn't play anymore. Mm -hmm. that it. So now you can do it again. You can just run through and enjoy your crazy loadout that one shots Mega Satan in one hit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Beautiful. I know, I know. That was something that a lot of people were talking about, you know, that the game needed. And that's one of the best parts about the update. So, so, so they added that. I don't know if that's like recently at the update, but uh. Good on ya, mate. Yeah, yeah. There it is, guys. If you were thinking, if you were on the fence about buying this before, man, it's, I don't think it's gonna get better. Maybe wait till it goes on sale. It will. You know, yeah. guys, the summer sale's like, it's happening right now. It'll probably be on sale, you know, at some yeah. point. At some point during the summer, just put it on your wish list. Keep an eye out. Uh, I have some blue face mask on my elbow. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh, I just went and blew myself. <laughs> I don't know how that got there. It's weird. <laughs> I know we've already talked about it in a previous video. Man, I'm so happy that uh, the new season of Arrested Development came back. And yeah, this is so it was good. good. It was good, yeah. And they're teasing us with that half release. Only so releasing <laughs> what, like, I think they're eight they're Game episodes. Of Thrones. They're Game of Thrones in it. Yeah, but I think Dirty. we're getting the rest of the episodes this year. I don't think they're doing such a long wait in between, and then we'll get the other eight episodes. Yeah. I Don't quote me, but I hope, I think we might be getting them this year. I don't think they're going to push it that far. Now, I think they're already all done with filming. Like, uh, hopefully, because that was a strong showing. Oh, uh, I know. I was like, what? I want more. You can't. You know, it kind of blows me away. Like that they did the really bad release of the fir of the uh, last season, season four. Yeah, season four, and, and it was very poorly received. I didn't think it was that bad personally. I didn't I, either. I mean, I didn't think it was. Different. I didn't think. I didn't think it was great. Okay, but I didn't think it was like, oh my god, it's horrible, and they ruined Arrested Development. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it was different. It wasn't the same as the you know same vibe and everything as uh, yeah the first three, but, but it didn't ruin it. Yeah, I can dig it. But the re the recut was awesome. Yeah. And it honestly makes me look at it and go, what do? Why not you do this first time? Uh, <laughs> like, I come on, guys. No. And then the next season comes out like immediately after, and it's also totally on point. Oh. And it just makes me look at it and go, what do? Why you no do this first time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like what you guys clearly, you guys clearly understand what to do. Maybe, maybe it was all the fan backlash, and they actually read the comments section and were like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> but 
We gotta start cutting this up a lot. <laughs> Making the jokes start landing really fast. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah. That's why I love the original Arrested Development, like the first three seasons. Man, they just shotgun jokes at you. Yeah. And, and maybe half of them land. And, and then uh, another uh, quarter of them go completely over your head. Yeah, that, we're still finding stuff that we miss. Yeah, yeah, we it's were watching. Great. We were watching an episode with uh, Lindsay, and she's like, "I hate ostriches." <laughs> that was season one, I think. Yeah, season one. She's like, "I hate ostriches." That's, uh, season that's, four. That's yeah. funny. That's funny. Season four, and then she has the ostrich living with the ostrich. And then, yeah, they keep having an appearance of an ostrich throughout <laughs> season four. Like there's like an ostrich pinata yeah. thing, and you have different stuff like that. Little little things. Ah. But, here we go, guys. A victory run with the forgotten. Yeah, a little victory run. Felt good. No bones about it. <laughs> oh, there you it is. You thought there wasn't going to be a skeleton pun. You thought. Oh, come on. I'm sure they expected it. They're probably disappointed that there's only one. <laughs> uh, well, you only get the one. Yeah. One bad joke per daily upload. On the daily brief. We'll see, see you guys next time. Dun, 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 dun.